John, obviously a, a disappointing result tonight, but a lot of positives because this is a better team than you're likely to face all year. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, I thought the first half was very even. Uh, I thought we acquitted ourselves really well. I thought we passed the ball, you know, well. I thought we started the game well. Dundee then took a little grip of it and got in behind us on a few occasions uh, without necessarily troubling Nicky too much. You know, they got down the size and uh, cut the balls across the face of the goal, uh, which gave us a little bit of warning that Dundee were a threat. But I thought we, going forward ourselves, you know, we, we, we were a threat. And uh, one in particular where Juan's managed to turn the defender in uh, lay the ball for Calm to come on to it, and, and obviously he's taken a touch which has run away from him. But uh, you know, I feel if he'd hit it early, you know, it might have been a great chance to go go ahead in the game. And as we know, when we went against you know Hibs and got in front ourselves, you know, we can be difficult to, to beat in any situation. So I thought the first half was very very even. I thought our guys, you know, say repeating myself, but we kind of acquitted ourselves well. I thought we. We then got a bit of hold in the game after in the, that sort of mid part of the game where uh, Dundee were on top. But then we, I thought we got back into the game towards uh, you know that middle to the end of the uh, end of the half. Uh, and I thought we were well in the game. We were well in the game. Uh, it kind of turns in the, the goal. Eh? Goals goals win games, and uh, that one goal that they get, uh, the first goal, uh, not a great. Kick out, you know, it goes right on to one of their bigger players, you know, and that header, you know, caught us open and it, the wee guys finished it really well and out of nothing we have found ourselves a goal down. And we're trying to get it back, obviously, we're trying to get it back. Uh, we've got one situation, we didn't threaten too much uh, and, and have the goalkeeper as busy as we'd have liked to have done. But we did create one really good chance when the balls went from one side across to the other side and Calms, you know, put a cross, great, a great crossing and all is very, very close to touching. If he touches it, it's a goal. Uh, but unfortunately for us, he didn't. And then with, what, 10 minutes to go, corner kick. Again, don't know how their players managed to get through us. So many as round that, but he's managed to wriggle through it and get a corner kick and from the corner kick they've scored, which is poor from our point of view. And it's a cheap goal to lose, very cheap goal to lose. And uh, the penalty kick in the, you know, the last minute of the game or so, a game was a very similar situation with a pawn, we've not cleared the ball for a corner kick. And then from the, the resulting effort at goal, from what I can, I've not seen it back, I don't know, if the referees uh, uh, hit Gary's arm or whatever and they give a penalty and give a straight red card, which is a disappointment because obviously a straight red card, I would imagine Gary suspended for the, the weekend, which is a blow to lose a player. Uh, for the game at the weekend, uh, and then three 0 looks more, uh, you know, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit harsh on us, a little bit harsh on the team. I think we put enough into the game not to get a three 0 you know, but it's not going to do us any damage, you know, because we've uh, we said well before the game that if we win the game tonight, it doesn't mean to say we're going to win the league. If we lose the game tonight, it doesn't mean to say we're not going to win the league. You know, it was. We're happy that we managed to get through the group stages, we're in the group, get into this situation. We're here at Dens Park tonight. We want to be coming to Dens Park in places like this on a regular occurrence. We need to get out of the league we're in. That is our objective. Uh, we're on track and uh, we now focus on Kelty on Saturday and we're looking to go four wins in a row. John, what, with all that in mind, what lessons do you think your, your team can take from tonight to stand them in good stead for the league? Yeah, I mean, uh, it was a step up tonight. You know, it was a step up. You know, Dundee are a little bit sharper, a little bit quicker than our guys, and they're, uh, they've been playing at a higher level. You know, they've came, just came down for the Premiership. Uh, so yeah, there's there's a lot to learn, and that's the standard we need to get to. So I don't think we're so far away, uh, but. You know, we've got, it's still early in the season. We're only like five league games into the season. We're not going to play our sixth league game. So, you know, we showed against Hibs what we can do. We've shown here tonight, all right, we've not won the game. We know that we can play against these teams and compete against these teams. We're still building, we're still in transition. And that'll be an ongoing basis now, you know. 
just finally, John, uh, Kelty, as you said, away on Saturday. Uh, I know it's in the early days, but your, your immediate thoughts on that one. And can you give us a little update on Ryan Williamson as well, please? No, I mean, obviously, Kelty is our next game, and we focus entirely on that. We'll look, look at them on Thursday, and we'll uh, we'll get the team organised to, to go again against Kelty. What I said, we're looking now to go four, four games, uh, four wins in a row, and, uh, you know, be ready to... Uh, Take any advantage by doing, doing, being very, very professional and going to Kelly. Uh, always going to be a difficult game, but one that we are very much, uh, you know, looking forward to. Ryan is still uh, feeling his injury. Uh, he'll not be available this weekend. If we're lucky, if we're lucky, he might be available for Aloha, but we need to carry a little bit of luck on that as well. Brad uh, Mackay comes into the same category. No, we are near ready yet. Uh, it looks like Jamie Wilson needs to get a hernia operation, more or less. Uh, Pages had a, uh, a setback. He's had a setback with his knee. His knee's locked now again, and so that's a blow. That's a blow to go for for PJ. So we ain't carrying an awful lot of luck uh, in the injury category, you know. Uh, Good that we got Liam Henderson a longer period on the pitch tonight. Yeah, uh, Kai Kennedy is improving. Kai Kennedy is going to be trained uh, for a few days now with Rangers. He'll come back into the great than we us on Thursday, but we have you to be in available for some of the game against Aloha. John, as always, thanks for the update and thanks for your time. No problem. Cheers. Thank you.